So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I have been uh, from the very beginning interested in clinical cardiology. I've done interventional cardiology. And when echocardiography evolved in India, I was at the forefront right from then, uh, when I was at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. So, I've divided this uh, today's interaction into uh, two parts, the journey thus far and the, it, the relevance of this investigation in the Indian setting truly. So let me start with the journey thus far. If you, if you remember, those of you who like history like I do, then the anatomy of the heart was first described by Leonardo da Vinci. He lived between 1452 and 1519 and gave a very a good description of, of the heart. And then William Harvey, who was born on 1st of April, 1578, in a small town in the United Kingdom, actually demonstrated circulation of blood and how it takes place. And then came René Lenac from France, and he, and he was upset at uh, putting his hand, his ear towards somebody's uh, back and then hearing the rals. So he developed this uh, structure and later on, stethoscope. The stethoscope actually became the hallmark of a physician. This was René Lenach, 1781, 1826. The time has come when the stethoscope is being given over and people say that we should see everything. How did this start? Inge Adler and Hertz, 1953. Inge Adler was on the beach one day with his child. The child uh, kicked a small part. He said, Dad, what is this? This is after the Second World War. He said, son, this is the, a part of the periscope, which is used by the submarines to find out a enemy submarine or a whale. It, is, it uses the principle of sono, sonography. And so in Sweden and the Scandinavian countries, it became very common. Ultrasound came later, echocardiography came much later, but it was sonography which became popular. The two people behind this were Inge Adler and Hertz, 1953. This is how ultrasound was done in early days. Can you imagine? You almost had to soak in uh, warm water and then sound wave was portrait was seen. And this was the somnoscope reported in the Life magazine in 1954. And then over a period of time came the standard transthoracic echo. And this is what we are going to see. People think that a transthoracic echocardiogram is a very basic investigation. And lo looking at this is that this is one investigation which is the eyes of the investigator you add doppler to it it becomes the sound of the heart and of course when you put color into it you can see the regurgitant lesion so it's a powerful technique correctly applied it can give you the diagnosis when you didn't think or you thought something else this was the birth of transthoracic echocardiography, but before transthoracic, but the first thing that came in was M-mode echocardiography. And I started my life in 1977 at the All Institute of Medical Sciences in New Delhi with M-mode echocardiography. And this is, in front of you, is the mitral ENA waves, the anterior mitral leaflet as first seen by Adler and Hertz echocardiogram they were unable to see the posterior leaflet at that point. But even with this, they could diagnose thickening. And they said that maybe. So this is how M-mode echocardiography developed. And uh, I was even at that time convinced that this technique will go a long way. 